Hello, my dear. I could feel the spirits were active tonight. I knew someone would appear. Yeah, that'd be me. So, does the shop have the identity problem, or is it you? <laughs> Very observant. What's a pretty girl like yourself doing out at the witching hour? Special Agent Reed, I'm here to ask you some questions about an antique. My favorite subject, Agent. And you can call me Rose, my dear. So, you sell antiques? You do not just sell antiques, my dear. I like to see it as a way to preserve these beauties through the generations. But yes, this is an antique shop, among other things. Like what? Reading a crystal ball? If a customer wants to talk to their dear departed mother or father, I am happy to help. Yeah. Right. Do you read the tarot too? <laughs> I make an honest living agent. Nothing wrong with that. Other than extorting people's hard on money, no. I give people what they want. I know when people need healing and how to help them heal. Right, my dear? I wanted to ask you about this. Ah, that is strange. What is? This is only a piece of the toy. Ah, yes, it is a Le Pondu, or at least very similar to one. Precious things. Ah, beautiful. A, a what? Le Pondu. It was a line of toys that had their roots in the French Revolution. It is said that those in high society use them at secret parties. Mysterious, do you not think? And some say they use these toys to scare their children into understanding what justice could do to them if they did not follow the rules. Horrible, is it not? So why would a toy like that appear in a crime scene last night? That is your job, my dear. Could this have come from this shop? I have not sold one in a while. But they are not as uncommon as you may think. Do you know of any other shops that may sell them? Toy shops, other antique stores. I bet they show up in those online auctions, too. As I said, they are not all that uncommon. I am sorry, my dear. What else can you tell me about it? The artifact is indeed old, but it has been modified. The wood is very old, and so is the varnish. But the cuts are new. Is this the only piece you found? Yes. So there are more? Well, yes. And I would say these cuts were made to fit into some other piece. Do you carry these? There is one right there. Thanks for the help. Any time, my dear. Now, tell me the real the reason why you are here. Uh, Something's been happening to me. A friend suggested I talk to you about it. Go on. I am listening. I keep having... Visions? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm not exactly comfortable. Listen, my dear. You can tell Rose whatever is happening to you. These old bones have seen it all and heard it all. <laughs> How do you know? Did John McCoy call you? Jean McCoy? Where do I know that name from? Ah, yes. Jean. Another FBI agent, more easygoing. He came here a few years back. Poor soul, he was utterly lost. He loved my coffee, and we used to sit at that table over there, talking for hours. I would guess you are the girl he told me about. I wish he'd let me deal with this on my own. Sometimes we do need a push, my dear. And here you are, taking the right steps. When did they start? The visions. I will tell you what. Go and sleep on it. Visit your brother tomorrow. Wait, how do you know? Sleep on it. And if you are ready tomorrow, come back here and I will show you a few things. All right? We'll see. I could stay up driving all night. I could use the time to think. But I'd better get some sleep tonight. I have a feeling tomorrow is going to be a long day. Ready to go. I should see what Davies wanted.
Hi, Gwen. How are you? Erica! Working hard. You know, lots of things to file. But hey, can't complain. Still have my job. <laughs> yeah. So, what's up? So, how's it been handling the evidence room? Crazy, isn't it? Davy said it's only until we get out of this mess. Cutbacks and all. Wish this came with the raise, but what can you do? Anyways, if you have any requests, I can get it for you. Hmm, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. So many heroes. We keep awards in there. A few of the top shot ones are mine. Jared Sullivan, or as we like to call him, Sully. Yeah, there's some history there. Uh -huh. I'd rather not unless there's a reason. The less we talk right now, the better. A map of the metropolitan area of Boston. I guess it was useful at one time, like 10 years ago. Good morning, John. <laughs> What's so good about it? <laughs> you are an iridescent ray of sunshine today. Did you have your coffee yet? <laughs> Shit, no coffee will fix this. What's up? All this paperwork that fell on my desk today, like a goddamn ticket tape parade. I'd offer my help, but... But? Don't really want to, sorry. <laughs> Bring me some donuts if you want to help. Will a bag of chips from the vending machine do? Get out of here! <laughs> Had any new thoughts on the hanging last night? <laughs> you see my desk? A man cannot think straight with all this. You know, there's something that doesn't fit. Erica, every case you've worked on, you've hoped it had something to do with Scott's killer. It's that gleam in your eyes. And it's right there, right now. It isn't that. Davies had a bad feeling about it, and I agree. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together. Go back to the crime scene. Pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher. See what surfaces. Meanwhile, you'll be here guarding the donuts. There's a bright side to everything, Mama said. But there's no donuts today, so I can't even have that small comfort. So I went to see that woman, Rose. And? Uh, I don't know. You know I hate that spooky shit. But she seemed to know something. You gotta deal with these flashes of yours now before they seriously screw up your ability to do your job. I guess. Well, I guess I should get back to the case now. How are you feeling, kiddo? I'll survive. I'm gonna stop by Scott's grave today. Red, my mama always said, if it's meant to be... It'll happen. You know what pisses me off? Not that I haven't caught the killer, or that Davies closed the case, but the fact that there may be another pair of innocent suckers out there whose lives could be about to change forever because of this bastard. He's been quiet for three years. Maybe the guy died, who knows, had a heart attack. The guy was on fire last time anyone saw him, you know? Look, in any case, stop the whining and go do some work. You are better than that. Yeah, I'll catch you later. That's Agent Stephen Abbott's desk. Steve's on vacation right now. Some 
pöytä on täällä näin mahdollisimman kaukana sen työparista. My little corner of the room. It speaks to how well I play with others. No niin, tietysti. Kaapista. Let's see what's new today. Hey, Erica. Sully? Davies told me that she had to leave as soon as she got here, to let you know. Thank you. She said she needed to talk to you about that antique you found yesterday. How did she know? Terrence. Yeah, she was mostly talking to herself. You know how she does that. She had a similar piece or something. Really? Interesting. Need to see this thing. I'm sure. Are you avoiding me? Yup. Sully, I have 10,000 things in my head right now. Can we talk later? Sure. You want to grab lunch later? Um, not today, Sully. I really am busy. Maybe some other day? Yeah, you got a hell of a case. By the way, you left your jacket at my place the other night. Uh, I can bring it by, or maybe you could... Yeah, bring it by. Sure, no problem. The case database. I can access closed and current cases here. Read. Terence mentioned to me that you have found a piece of an antique last night at the crime scene. I was sent one anonymously last week. I gave it to Terence. It's not the first weird thing I've gotten lately either, but I wrote them off up until last night. I'll show it all to you when I get back later today. For now, I have to go take a look at something important. Davies. What does she have in her office? I have to get into Davy's office somehow. Hey, Sully, how many times do I have to tell you not to call me Babe? Cool. I could use a couple hours away from all this. Figures. Dad avoids visiting Scott. Maybe that's why he decided to bury him there, so that he could be as far away from his memory as possible. Yeah, man. I don't have any evidence to look at right now. Exactly what it says. A people search. Damn, I forgot to bring flowers. The graves have a certain beauty to them, and it all feels so peaceful. It's weird that I can feel this here. Especially after what happened here three years ago. The graves have a certain beauty. Dad decided we should bury Scott in the same place he died, instead of where Mom is buried. I never asked him why, but I didn't want to deny him anything. He was so broken. These are pretty flowers. 
I'm sure no one will miss it if I take one. This is terrible, but no one will miss it. I hope. baby bro I'm sorry it's been a while oh look at this place it's a mess freaking leaves everywhere <laughs> I wish I could say I have a great lead on your case but Davies closed it and there's nothing I can do about it and this thing that I've got is still out of control <sighs> well how are you how are things on the other side <laughs> I'll come more often, and I'll bring Dad next time. I promise. And I'll keep this promise. Excuse me. Yes? I don't mean to be rude, but you took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... Uh, yeah, that, uh... <laughs> Don't sweat it. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying. You lost your brother too? Yeah. I'm wicked sorry. I'm Erica. And sorry. you are... Cordelia. I'm so embarrassed, Cordelia. I'll pay for a wreath. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, really. It was just funny. You were so natural at it. <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> so sneaky. Oh, yes, well, I'm known for that. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'll be over there. Hey there. Hi, Erica. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Has it gotten better? A little. It's not so much the years that pass, but that you learn to accept it. And that's always the hardest part. Scotty was murdered. I'll only rest when I put whoever killed him behind bars. Are you a cop? FBI. And yeah, that's what makes it even harder to accept. You look familiar to me. That wouldn't surprise me. I hang around here a lot. Sometimes, I even sneak in at night. <laughs> really? Wow. That's... dedication. I take care of the family business. Max was an ace at it. He would always tell me what to do. So I still come here to talk to him. Or talk the issues through myself, I guess. I see you do the same with Scott. Is that... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be intrusive. Yes, yeah, Scotty. I don't come here as often as I would like, though. But I must have seen you here before. I have to go now. Well, hey, you seem alright. If you ever want to hang out, you can probably find me around here. <laughs> I've never been asked to hang out in a cemetery before. Uh, maybe in high school. We can go somewhere else. You know, as morbid as it sounds, the cemetery is fine. We can be close to them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. It was nice meeting you. Hey, Erica, you dropped this. Rose? You know her? Yes. She took a lot of the pain away. Are you seeing her? I'm trying to figure out if I want to. You should. She's really something special. Hmm. Thanks. There 
there you are, my dear. I'm not too thrilled about it, but yeah, here I am. Can I take one? Do me a favor, child, and take all of them. They're going to go to waste, and I hate throwing food away. Do you always have donuts for your customers? They used to love them, been doing it for years. But now, they're not as popular anymore. Makes me sad. Hey, Rose. Yes, my dear? <laughs> so... Why did you decide to open an antique shop? I'm good at finding the rare and the strange. That certainly makes me feel better. The things in this shop are wonderful trinkets, full of mysticism and meaning. If you like something, you just have to ask. I've had the time to think about last night, about this thing of mine. Your vision, do you mean? How do you know about that? Many of my customers ask the same questions. You do not believe in the crystal ball, neither do some of them. Sometimes we mock what most haunts us. All right, I'm getting tired of this runaround. If you want me to be upfront with you, why don't we start by you telling me what you know, and then we can take it from there. Very well. What do you want to know? Do you know? What do you know about this stuff? You remind me of myself. I used to be as inquisitive as you are. I wanted to know it all, the very last detail of everything. And sometimes I asked more than maybe I should have. But I don't regret my life or the places it took me. This store here is living proof of where I've been and who I am. Are you going to answer my question? You are what some people call a scion. A what? Yeah. A scion. Listen, I'm telling you what you want to know, but in return, I'm going to have to ask you to let go a wee bit, to hear the stories, to let me help. If you won't let me help, there's nothing I can do. I feel really uncomfortable talking about my visions. You have been using them, have you not? I have, but... So what is the big deal? This is something that you have. Embrace it fully, because it is a part of you, and it will not go away. Until a few days ago, I seemed to have some control of it. But now, it's just... It's very painful now when I try to use it. Sometimes I see myself... things that haven't happened to me. Hmm. Is that bad? No. But I wonder why is it happening? Before, you always saw the past? Yes. Maybe you are evolving. What? If you can see the past in ways no one else can, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? That would be amazing. Has something happened to you recently? Something upsetting? My boss closed a case that I wasn't ready to close. Oh, Let us put this vision of yourself aside for now. Let us focus on your ability to see the past. Are you ready for some training with Mama Rose? I'm ready. Very well. Tell me how you use your power. I... I touch something and it happens. Good. You are not afraid to use this power to your advantage. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel like less of a freak. It is an amazing gift, my dear. Never forget that. Now I'm going to teach you a neat trick. I like to call this projection. With it, you will be able to extract the memories from a place to see the events from the time you wish. Places have memories? There's energy everywhere, my dear. When you learn how to tap onto it, 
Well, there will be no one that can hide a secret from you. Now, we probably shouldn't be doing this, but what the heck? It'll be more interesting for you. Your friend Jean came here a long while ago. I want you to go back to one of the days he was here. For that, we're going to need something from him, a very personal item he holds on to all the time. The rest we will find here. So you want me to go get something personal from him? Something he would have carried three years ago. Won't this be fun? Uh, yes, my dear. Okay. What is it that I need from John? Something personal. Something he would have carried three years ago. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. McCoy? Red? I'm going to go back. Go get him, Red. John, can I borrow your lighter? Red, no one touches the lighter but me. Yeah, but it would really help me out. No. All right, John. I followed your advice yesterday, went to see Rose, sucked it up, and cooperated. Now I need your lighter so that Rose can help me. And you are going to let me borrow it. Damn. You put it like that. Fine. Take it. Ha ha ha. Okay. Thank you, John. I'll bring it back. You better. I found what we need. John never lets go of this. This is perfect. I will leave this here. Now, let us start with this object alone. Close your eyes. Okay. I want you to picture every item in this place as if they were people, as if they had minds that contain memories. Concentrate on this room and this room only. I just... I don't... Concentrate. I'm trying, but... Whoa! What's happening? What can you see? I can see this room, but I can... It's hard to explain. I see things that... Concentrate on those things. Now I want you to separate them and break them apart, one by one. I want you to single out the memories that were attached to Jean when he was here. How the hell do I do that? You will, with a bit of help from me. Your friend always sat by the crystal ball table, and there is a particular place in here he loved to hang around. <laughs> but you probably know what that is. For this to work, you need to focus on three things. The last being this item you brought from him. Focus on them. John? Come on, child. Don't be scared. If you're seeing him, he's not fully real, but you can still interact with him in a way. Sometimes that's what you do with these projections. Fill in the holes, you know? Other times, just seeing them will be enough for your goal. This is... as much as I hate to say it, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Use it well and never be afraid of it. Thank you, Rose. Hello, Rose. Hello, my dear. So what is it that I need to do to use that projection trick you taught me? Focus on three things in the room that are related to the incident you want to remember. And voila, it is that easy. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear.
Talk to me, my dear. Let those nasty demons out. Alice left me, but it's good. I mean, maybe she could be finally be happy. She's gone to her sisters. They're living their expensive McMansion. Ah, Christ! I don't know how to be myself anymore. You know, the, the fat yeah. guy that eats the donuts and solves the case at the end of the day. Now I'm just going through the motions. But there are always demons that bite us and chew us and take our peace with the world away. But the human heart is big and noble. And yours is also kind and gentle. And it is in that strong heart of yours where you can always find yourself. There's this girl in the office. I was lucky to train her a couple of years back. Bright, smart, sharp, <laughs> kicks like a man, shoots better than any of the old farts in the station. Got it from her father. He was a captain of the BPD. Always made our lives easier. I knew her brother, too. Scott. Not made of the same stuff as Erica, but, but still a cool kid. Last month, we lost him to a piece of shit murderer. The things that life gives us and the things that life takes from us, we have no control over those. We do with them what we can. Ah, bullshit! Scott should still be alive today. That kid didn't have to pay for our crap. He didn't deserve it, and neither did she. I was dumb to think I could pretend it was all fine. I guess it had to happen to her for it to hit me. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I can tell you a thing or two about demons. How to face them, how to fight them. I've gotten people that have hit rock bottom to stand up firm and walk again. But this demon of yours, I cannot tell you what to do with it. That is up to you. I am sorry, my dear. So am I, so am I. Isn't it cozy here? Yeah. The Erica! No McCoy today? Nope. All by myself. Ah, good. I can talk you up some romance then. Babe. Terrence, you're my one true love. <laughs> Any luck identifying a guy? All the DNA strands I found were from the victim. Nothing from the killer. Not a drop of sweat? A hair? Nothing? <sighs> Nothing, man. This guy was clean, and I always find something. So they knew exactly what they were doing. What about our John Doe? It'll take a few days. You know how these things are. You'd think they'd come up with something faster. Call me if something comes up. Got it. So, how's life at the morgue? It ain't too different from when I had a team. No one speaks much. Only difference is that our zombies preferred to be in front of their computers with the lights off. <laughs> John says the same about me. I'm sure Gallagher is lovely to work with. <laughs> I keep getting on her nerves. <sighs> it's my new hobby. I need lockpicks. I'll need to see you put your thumb on your nose, waggle your fingers, and pat your tummy first. What? If you're gonna ask for lockpicks, you really need to learn the thief sign, Biggie. What do I look like? The flea market? You're way better than a flea market. True that. Here, state of the art. Best line of lockpicks we have. Go and violate some human rights for me. I found something on that antique piece from last night. <laughs> Spill the beans. Apparently, it's a creepy toy from the 18th century, but it's been modified. So it wasn't something that was just laying around? No. It was very intentionally left there. Hmm. I won't confiscate it then. See what you can do with it. So this antique has apparently been broken into many different pieces. Didn't Davy send you something like this today? Yeah, I haven't ch- Oh, you mean the email she sent me this morning. Yeah, she mentioned something. Man, where's my head? Can I see it? I don't know. Davies will kill me. Come on, Terrence. This is important. <laughs> Tell you what, you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. No, I was good. I was good. 
death. What am I good for? Oh, it's just that... Gallagher's being a real pain in the butt about my equipment. I can't store it with hers because she doesn't want to. But then I have no other place to put it. And you want me to talk to Gallagher and see what I can do? You got it. See you later. Alligator! Agent Reed. Gallagher? Who are you, John Doe? It doesn't feel like a bone. Agent Reed? I'm sorry. Who are you, John Doe? Gallagher is hard at work, like always. She really enjoys what she does. How's the autopsy going? This is an interesting one. Have you found anything new? The subject was drugged. I found high doses of a substance in his body. Have you identified the substance? I've sent it to the lab. I'll have more info on it later. Is there anything you can tell me about it? It was probably used as a sedative. There are no signs of direct struggle, other than those of dragging the body. Whatever contusions there are must have been caused by the friction of the skin with other materials, like when the killer raised the victim to the table. So it was a smaller person. Whoever did this definitely struggled with carrying the mass of this body. You are certain now that the victim was killed by strangulation? After close examination, strangulation was the catalyst. But the victim suffered both a heart attack and a hemorrhagic stroke. How exactly did that happen? The blood pressure progressively reached higher values. That, combined with a lack of oxygen, was a fatal combination that caused all regulatory systems of the body to fail. The brain and heart are only some of the organs that suffered massive damage. <sighs> How long did you say this process took? I would say between 45 minutes and an hour. Are we running tests to ID the victim? Yes, Agent Reed. I know how to do my job. We set a dental and are running a DNA test. Weren't lucky with fingerprints? The fingers are extensively mutilated, but I will try to reconstruct it later and see if I can get a partial. That's gonna take more than a few days, isn't it? Indeed. Have you checked this on the body already? I saw it, but I haven't opened it up yet. Will you? As you wish. Well, now that's unusual. What the hell? That looks like a piece of the antique I found at the scene. Seems somebody left you a clue. I think I'd best hand this over to you. Thank you. I'll look into it. Make sure that good-for-nothing Bowlby knows of its existence. How's life treating you, Gallagher? I'm down a secretary and down an assistant, and Terrence moved in upstairs. What do you think? Are they both gone permanently? At least until things turn around financially. That's too bad. I miss Susie. She was an excellent secretary. I hope I can hire her back someday. But right now, I'm busy, Agent Reed. Yeah, I'll leave you be. 
Terence mentioned something about wanting to use the storage? Yes, he's being a pest as always. Why won't you play nice? If he feels welcome, he'll never leave. And that would be unacceptable. So you won't reconsider about Terence using the storage? Without a direct order? No. Which you, of course, are not authorized to give me. Now, can I get back to work? I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. I don't need that right. Gallagher prefers her old style tape recorder. Tools of the coroner's tree. Tools of the cor. That's where the Gallagher magic happens, if you can call it that. The direct number for her office down here. I guess I better keep that in my cell phone now that Susie's gone. No one's looking this way. I'm an ace at picking locks. Ei vaan murtaudutaan pomon toimistoon sillä. Oh crap. She's gonna skin me alive. Damn. What's the password? Ah. Davy's promotions. I liked her more when she was one of us. We don't always see eye to eye on things, but she's still a good friend of the family. This is called a tropic snow. I know because, believe it or not, Davies talks about it. Information on some of our latest cases. Say goodbye to your badge, Erica. That's from Davy's niece. <laughs> How cute. Davy's loves that child to pieces. Uh -huh. What's this? Another one will be hanged tonight. What did the rest of this say? Password. <sighs> no. What could Davies have used as a password? Stupid house. <laughs> okay. All right. What do we have here? Interesting. Why did she keep this message? She deletes everything else.
Looks like I'm going for a new record on how many laws I can break today. Gallagher. I heard from Bulby that he's having problems with storing his equipment over there. Let him do what he needs. I need you to cooperate while the transition takes place. Davies. <laughs> Hope that sounds Davies enough. And sent. And delete. I'm not only walking into the lion's den here, I'm dancing the Lombardo with the freaking thing. Information on some Davies left the top off. Was she trying to get something from here? Davies left the Davies always liked that picture. She told me she pictures herself in that lighthouse every time she needs some time off from all the crazy shit we see. left a message here. How can I look at it? Buddy? Yo! I need to go all James Bond. Biggie, you're the Bond, I'm the Q. What are your techie needs? At the crime scene, I found this graffiti that was recently painted. I want to see whatever it covered. I got just what you need. Take a look at this. Bada boom ding dang! It works like an ultraviolet light, only you can actually choose a color of light to cast and it'll see through that color revealing whatever's behind it. You know, like those hint books from those old PC adventure games. Yeah. That sounds pretty neat. Not only that, you can also use it as a projector. Just plug it into your computer and transfer an image to it. You'll be able to project that image onto anything. What would I do without you? You'd be in a cave, crying yourself to sleep. I don't think I'm doing this the right way. I need to calibrate it to what I need. Hmm. The color... I need to enter some sort of code here. Color is green. I need to enter. This is not going to work with this. Those two don't work together. Oh, bad. Let me. 
in hand. In hand. If your eyes could see what mine can't, what does that mean? Huh. These visions of mine feel almost like the real thing. If I could only see what you saw. Wait, the message. What is he looking at? Is there something in that wall? What's this? What do we have here? A photo? Who's leaving these? And who are you? I'm going to email a digital picture of this to my computer so I can look at it later. I wonder who she is. I wonder who she is. the woman's photo here. Now let's see what I can find. Voodoo. <laughs> Fear wolves. Okay. <sighs> Alright. I should look for any details that can tell me who this woman is. Hmm. Nothing. Hmm, nothing. Hmm, nothing. Hmm, what is that on her bracelet? Sarah. Her name? Sarah. All right. I should be able to use that if I want to cross-reference it with something. I... I don't have anyone to search for right now. This is not what I'm looking for. Think, Erica.
This is her, the woman from that picture. Let's see. I remember a little about this case. Davies and Sully handled it. Hmm. And she was buried at Mount Auburn Cemetery. Same as Scott. Hey, Sully. So, you change your mind about lunch? No. I need to ask you something. What is it? I found your name on a case and I need details. You remember anything about Sarah Goodman? How can I forget? That was my first case, when McAdams was still in charge. I took the case with Davies. Why did the FBI take the case? Because of the husband. He refused to believe it was a suicide. He had some important and powerful friends, and we got pulled into it. So the husband, this Robert Goodman, he was cleared of all charges? He was abroad on a business trip. We checked, and his story cleared. He was very disturbed. Nobody's that good an actor. Do you know where I can find him now? Uh, as it happens, yeah. I saw him not long ago. He's, uh, he's on the streets. He is. Yeah, here's the saddest part of the story. He never gave up on the case. He obsessed over it, quit his job, spent all of his money, lost his home, and it drove him mad. I dealt with him a lot of times when he would come here to beg for us to reopen the case, saying he had new proof. So that's who that was. I remember seeing him a few times, yeah. Did you ever look at this new evidence? Briefly, he went on about the possibility of someone having done this to others, but Davy said we'd be wasting our time, and really, there was nothing concrete. As for where you can find him, he hangs out around Shafta Avenue in Dorchester. I'll send the exact location to your phone. How did it go down? Uh, the husband had left for a business trip. He was always abroad. And when he came back this time, he found his wife hanging in their condo and immediately notified the police. How did the case get handed off to the FBI? The detective on the case immediately ruled it a suicide. The husband made some calls, and before you know it, Davies and I were driving to the scene. So you were there at the crime scene? Yeah, it was wicked awful. The woman had been dead for a while. <laughs> Nothing like that for your first real case. Not that it was much of a case, or so Davies thought. Who closed the case? Davies. We did our due research, interrogated Robert Goodman, but there was nothing pointing at murder. We talked to several family members who knew Goodman's wife. They had moved to the city recently from some suburb in California because of the husband's work. What did the relatives say? The, the victim was on antidepressants. They'd been living here for a little less than a year and she wasn't coping well with the move. It all pointed to suicide. So uh, what's your interest? I need to look at a couple of things before I can say. I may need your help on this. Anything you need, Erica. Thank you, Jared. See you later, Sully. Yeah. One evidence form coming up. Let's see what this gets me.
Hey, Erica. Hey, Gwen. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. That won't work there. I have a request for you. Yeah? I'm looking for some evidence on a case from a couple of years back. Well, aren't you in luck? We just moved archives from the past three years back here. Anything further back, uh, it'll be a nightmare. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be around. Do you have your evidence form? Here you go. All right, just one minute. There are more tapes, but this was all I could find. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me get a thousand hours in there. Right. No niin, eli tää on tässä tältä, tältä erää, jatketaan, jatketaan ensi tiistaina tätä, tätä seikkailupeliä. Tuossa ne jäi alussa heti jumittamaan, mutta sitten niin kohtuu nopeasti mentiin. Mä ainoastaan kahdessa kohtaa semmonen huh. Jumitus, jumitusongelma tuli, mutta ihan yksi mun se, suosikki le, seikkailupeleistä kyllä, mutta point and clickit on aina tällaisia näin. Joskus menee liukkaasti eteenpäin, joskus taas jää jumittamaan jokin ihan tyhmää juttu. Ei voi mitään. Mutta katsotaan tota loppuviikosta Dragon Agea ja kallista protokollia sitten. Ore, tehdään näin. Kiitos katsomasta. Moi!